vloggers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and welcome to Water Your Readings. It is time again. I was gonna say it's time that time of the month again, but it really is. It is September 1st, meaning it is TBR video time. I just finished filming the August wrap-up, and you know guys, I don't know how these month and beginning and ends of the month, they always creep up on me. Like I don't know what the frick happens. One minute, it's the beginning of the month, and then the next minute, it's the end. And I have missed out on reading so many books because I've been just so busy with everything else. But we're going to try better this month. Last month, I read about 1.5 books. We're going to try to read all of the ones on the TBR. At least three of them. That is the goal for this month. So, to start it off, we have Sarah J. Mass in her A Thorn of Glass. Throne of Glass, not Thorn, Throne of Glass book. I have been getting into Sarah J Maas more and more. I still have yet to finish the Akatar series because I am utterly scared of the last fucking book, guys. Like, that book is massive. It scares me. I don't know if, when I'm gonna read it. It is on my TBR for my fall TBR, which all of these books are somewhere on those. If you haven't checked that out yet, I haven't posted it yet by the time this video goes live, but if you wanna know what books are on that, be sure to check out my Instagram because I am starting to post more reels on there. I post reading journal with me reels where you can see me update my reading journal for all of the books I have read. We are slowly but surely catching up. But I will also be posting a reel on there of all the books that I am wanting to read this fall. I don't think I'm gonna get through them all, but I am gonna be picking books like sporadically from there from that list for my TBR. So we're gonna try. I already, I'm looking at the books right now on my desk and one of them has a damaged bottom spine so I might be going to the bookstore to exchange it. We shall see. But Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I want to get into it. I got this book for Easter. Actually, my mom gave it to me. Um, for those who don't know, we're gonna actually get back into reading the descriptions of the books in these videos because like, I kind of miss doing that. It also makes them a little bit longer and I'm trying to make them longer because I'm also posting these on Instagram if you want the short form version where I don't read the description. I just rapid fire through them. But Lethal Loyal Legendary. In a land without magic, an assassin is summoned to the castle. She has no love for the vicious king who rules from his throne of glass, but she has not yet come to kill him. She has come to win her freedom. If she defeats 23 murderers, thieves, and warriors in, the combat in a competition, she will be released from a prison to serve the king as the king's champion. Her name is Selena Saturathan. I'm terrible with names, y'all. You'll know this. The crown prince will provo provoke her. The captain of the guard will protect her. And a princess from a faraway country will befriend her. But something rotten dwells in the castle, and it's there to kill. When her com competitors start dying mysteriously one by one, Selenia's fight for freedom becomes a fight for survival and a desperate quest to root out the e root out the evil before it destroys her world. Thrilling and fierce, Throne of Glass is the first book in the number one of the. Y'all can find out the rest. It's a New York Times bestseller, but that is book one. Book two is a Hannah Grace. I've been reading Hannah Grace since Icebreaker. I'm obsessed. Y'all should know this. I think I read. I'm pretty sure. When did Wildfire come out? I don't even remember, but I read that book so as quickly as I could. But we got Daydream. Um, it's Henry's book. I'm excited, y'all. Like, he, he, it's so cute. Like, look at how pretty this is. Like, it's such a cute cover, and I love the fact that they both have, like, books in their hands. Anyways, here is this description for that one. He's the one that she's been dreaming of. When his procrastination lands him in a difficult class with his least favorite professor, Henry Turner knows he's going to have to work extra hard to survive his junior year of college. And now, with his new role as captain of the hockey team, Henry absolutely cannot fail. Enter Hallie Jacobs, a fellow junior whom Henry befriends when he accidentally crashes her book club. A book... Y'all, I didn't even know what the description of this was, but a book club? Flabbergasted. I love book clubs. Hallie may not have... The romantic pursuits of her favorite fictional leads or the experiences for the novel she's trying to write, but she's an academic superstar and as soon as she hears about Henry's problems with his class, she offers to help. She knows that his that new experiences are the key to beating her self-doubt and Henry's promising need to be the one to give it to give them to her. They just need to stick to their rule book where item four reads don't fall in love. This is so freaking cute. I didn't even read the description of this before I bought it. I just bought it because I love Hannah Grace. 
Um, I love this. I also love the size. Like, it's just, it is just so fucking pretty. So, that is book two for this month. Book three was on last month's TBR. It's The Grandest Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. My brain can't remember. It came out last month, the beginning of the month. Did I get to read it before then? Nope. But we're going to be trying to read it. It's. I kind of feel like it's a tradition now for me to read. Um, at least for the last September I read this book. Like the last book. So I'm kind of feeling like it's kind of become a tradition to read these this book in September, or the series in September, but here is the description for that. I have to open it up. Welcome to the Grandest Game, a dazzling, life-changing competition run by billionaire Avery Grahams and, four inf and the four infamous Hawthorne brothers. Designed to offer a chance of, at fame and riches, this year's game is limited to seven lucky players. Lyra is haunted by the death of her father and the mysteries he left behind her. She tells herself that she's playing the grandest games for the multi-million dollar prize money, not for the answers about the Hawthorne's family involvement in her father's death, and not to confront the infatuating and agnomic Grayson Hawthorne, <gasps> who sp spurned her once before. Facing off against Lyra are Gigi, Grayson's half-sister, and a human ray of sunshine, who is determined to prove that she is capable of more than anyone, more than anyone has ever given her credit for. And Rohan, who has very few morals and a dangerous and a eclectic skill set and no future unless he wins the game. Swept away to a private island rife and luxury and puzzles to be solved, Lyra, Gigi, and Rohan must do whatever it takes to be to best one another. A cast of formidable rivals in a game that is that only the sharpest minds can conquer. As sparks fly and the brain in blue Bending challenges push the players to their limits. It becomes clear that everyone has secrets and the past won't stay buried forever. Who has what it takes to win? I'm excited. I've been excited for this book since it was announced. I can't wait for the next book also, which is really, really cute. Um, I love the cover. I did a whole unbox well, haul and you can see it on my Instagram page. So be sure to follow that. Next up is Prisoner's Throne by Holly Black. I read the entire series within a month in 2022 and I slowly got through the second, the first book in the spin-off series and I am haven't read this one yet but it is on my TBR and it has been for a while. But an imprisoned prince, a vengeful queen, and a battle that would determine the future of of Elham. Prince Oak, Oak is paying for his betrayal. Imprisoned by the icy thorn and unbound to the will of the monstrous new queen, he must rely on the charm and calculation to survive. When High King Cardin and High Queen Jude go to the poet's dreams to retrieve their stolen heir, Oak must decide whether to attempt to arraign the trust of the girls he always loved or remain loyal to Elfham and end Ren's reign, even if that means ending her too. With a new war looming on the horizon and treachery lurking in every corner, neither Oak's guile nor his wit will be enough to keep everyone he loves alive. It's just, just a question of whom he will of whom he will do. That sounds interesting. Like, y'all, these books, I am so freaking excited for these four books. Like, I cannot wait to read them. I'm going to try my hardest to read them all in September. But with back to school, who knows? But th that's my TBR for this month. Let me know in the comments down below what books you are reading this month and books that you are potentially reading for the fall entire fall that you're hoping to get to. Don't forget to like and comment, like I said, and also subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I post twice a month TBR wrap up. I try to do reading vlogs. Hopefully we'll bring them back this week fall, maybe even weekly vlogs where I try to show you what I read throughout the month or throughout the week um, as a university student working full time, but we shall see. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!